working there, then after that, I, I realized that, oh, this is part of their process. They, as soon as they get to, we would joke, 51% probability, they would make a decision and move forward. Now, you might ask, well, what would happen if that decision turned out to be wrong? Then they backtrack. Okay, so what they do, they make a decision which allows you to move ahead, and then you verify, okay, is that the right decision or not? If it is, you keep going, but you keep making decision after decision after decision like that. And if once you, you move forward, you find that there's a problem that you hadn't anticipated, then you backtrack, okay, until you make another decision and try it again. So it allows you to progress very rapidly. They also make extensive use of the Internet. Um, and I'm sure they do at least as much today as they did back in 2008. If they hear about a new technology, the first thing they do, they're on the Internet, okay, they're finding articles and papers that describe what that technology is, who's working it, who's doing the research. They'll make contact with whoever is doing that work. They'll have telephone discussions, maybe invite the person in, maybe take a trip to see them, um, get prototypes in place, and they would use the Internet for all their prototyping. Um, one of the big sources of equipment is McMaster. And I saw where we would see an interesting technology and literally within a week or two have a prototype on the floor of that technology to start looking at. A week or two from when they first heard about it to tracking down people to getting on McMaster and ordering equipment in to be able to test it. And so it was just, you know, just astounding how fast they would move.